How to install Forge for Minecraft is the topic of today's video. If you are new to the channel, please go down below and hit the subscribe button right now. I really do appreciate it. And then go and leave a like as well. So in today's video, I'm literally showing you how to install Forge, which you can then use to go and get mods on Minecraft. It's really, really cool. And just to prove to you that I have got Forge, as you can see, Forge up here. Latest version of Minecraft and Forge, and this is going to work when you get Minecraft as well. So if you're ready for this video, make sure it's right till the end as well, because I'll be dropping loads of helpful sort of tips and tricks throughout the video, so it will just make a lot more sense if you to watch the whole thing and not sort of skim through it. Without any further ado, let's go and jump into this video. As you can see, I'm now on my desktop, and let's go and jump straight into this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is simply go and open up Minecraft. So open up the Minecraft launcher. So I'm going to come down to my search and search Minecraft and Minecraft launcher. Now the first thing you want to do is when we're going before we go in and get Forge is essentially go and run Minecraft on the version of what you're going to be getting Forge for. So I'm hopefully getting Forge for 1.16.5. So I'm going to make sure I've ran Minecraft on 1.16.5 just here. So I'm going to go and hit play. It's going to probably download and update if I haven't done it in a while. As you can see, it's just doing this. So we'll quickly go and run it on here, then exit the game, and then we can go and finish the tutorial. We've gone and ran Minecraft once, which is the important thing. And now we can go and go and actually get Forge. So the first thing you want to do is simply come to your Chrome and go and open that up into a new window. Well, it can be any type of browser. I personally just use Chrome though. So now we're on Google, what you want to do is simply search Forge. Now do keep watching as well because I'm showing you loads of other useful tips and tricks. You want to search Forge Minecraft, just like so. And as you can see, files.minecraft.forge.net is the place you want to be. So click there, and now we're here. So we're going to click Accept. So we're now on the site, and let's go and continue with this tutorial. So as you can see, you can select any version of Forge you would like. So if you want to go and play on Minecraft 1.8.9, you can go and download it here. 1.12, you can go and download it here. But I'm going for 1.16.5, so I'll click here. And as you can see, we're now here. So what we want to do is go and download the installer by clicking Installer. And it's now going to go and watch an ad for five seconds. It's really good to support the creators of Forge because of this awesome sort of, I guess, program they make allow us to use mods on Minecraft. Anyways, then you want to go and click skip once that's done. And now it's going to take you to the next page and start the download. So as you can see, it's going to have this message here saying, this is what file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep it? This is because it's a Java file, um, but this is absolutely fine in this case. We're going to click keep. And that's gone and finished downloading it. So I'm going to go and drag this onto my desktop. So give me a minute. And boom, there we go. We've now got Forge. So we now quit off Chrome as well. Now quickly, as you can see, I've got this logo here. And if I right click on it and then go and click open with uh, and choose another app, we get this option here, Java TM Platform SE Binary. Now, if you don't have this, this means you need to go and download Java. It's a really easy process. I'll just go and open up Chrome and show you. So what you want to do is simply Google Java and then come to java.com and it's made my Oracle. And you want to do is simply download this. It literally doesn't take long at all. And uh, then it means you can go and run Java files, which I've just got here. So then we're going to go and run this. So what we want to do is double click on it and make sure you run it using the, the Java software, the Java binary software. And we have this option here. So as you can see, Install client, install server, extract. So I'm just going to go for install client and you need to make sure you've got your Minecraft selected here. This has already found it because I'm storing the normal place to where Minecraft is, but sometimes, you know, you may have moved it around. So make sure you add the right path to Minecraft and then we can go and click OK. As you can see, it's now going and downloading everything and it's going to install it all by itself. You don't have to do anything so you can sit back and relax while it does this. Um, and it will probably take a bit longer if you've got slower internet, um, but these files are probably fairly small anyway, so it probably doesn't make too much of a difference. And but yeah, we'll just continue to install this. And there are so many endless opportunities when you've got Forge. There's so many mods you can use, and I'll be making more in-depth tutorial of you know different mods. Um, so if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. And yeah, we'll just continue with this. So let's just wait for it to finish. And uh, I'll be back once it has. And once it's finished, you're going to get this pop up here saying complete successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.16.5 into the launcher and download into 48 libraries. That's really easy. Then I click OK and it's going to go remove everything. So then we can go and actually open up Minecraft. So you want to come back to your search or wherever you have Minecraft and simply search Minecraft. I'm going to open it up. Now it's going to load. And as you can see, it's currently got Forge here. Now, what I personally do is I go and click installations, I click new, I name this saying like um, Forge Tutorial, and then you can want to click version and change that to Forge. So as you can see, release 1.16.5-Forge, 
and then you can go and leave everything else. Then click create and you can come back to play and it just makes it a bit easier to navigate so then you can follow it down here saying full tutorial and there we go. So you can go and click play and it's literally going to open up Minecraft as you can see you're about to play um, Minecraft has been modified and we can't guarantee the game will support the latest player safety features. So that's absolutely fine and you want to click I understand the wrists. Now just consider, be very careful with joining servers with Forge um, because sometimes I know they have sort of anti-cheat systems which could get you in trouble so just be very careful with that although I don't have much experience with it. Now if you get that loading screen and it doesn't complete loading, do not worry this is because you've got an old mod so to go and remove that mod what you want to do is go into your Minecraft game files and go to mods where you originally put it and remove it. However you're not going to have that issue if you haven't had Forge before. So we're now on the menu and as you can see we've definitely got Forge, we've got all these different options, we've got Warning, Forge Beta, um, it's because it's just a new version. And we've got mods here of course and you can go and see any mods. Now currently I haven't got any here but to go and install mods you can actually locate your mod folder by clicking here. And then it brings up this folder where you can drag the mod you get and then you can go and close it and you can go and play with that mod. But you can also locate that as well separately and uh, but it's easier to do it within the Minecraft launcher I find. And yeah, that's how you get the mod. Now I'll quickly show you some more stuff as well. So let's go and jump into a game and you can see two mods loaded here as well. That's just what the default forge says. Don't worry if you haven't actually got any mods. So you want to hit single player and I'll just jump into a new game. Uh, so yeah, you get a few options here. So like game rules and stuff, which I um, I've actually noticed before. But yeah, you can actually customize the game quite a lot. As you can see, raids, um, spawning. And there's actually quite a lot you can do, like deal fall damage, there's so much stuff you can edit, and uh, you get a few more world options I'm guessing. You can import stuff, I haven't seen that before. I haven't actually used Forge in a while, um, but let's go and jump into a game. And uh, you can change the game rules or anything like that, data packs, well I haven't noticed this before. But let's go and create this and we'll go and check it out. So as you can see, Minecraft looks very very similar, this is because I haven't got any mods installed yet. And you can also check you're using Forge as well by clicking F3. As you can see up here it says Forge, and I think that's the main thing it changes. But yeah, that basically shows we're using Forge and it's really really cool. And now of course whenever you're ready you can go and get your first Minecraft mod, or maybe your second one, however many you've had in the past. But yeah. If you have found this video useful, please do leave a like and subscribe. I've got a ton more Minecraft tutorials coming very, very soon. I may even do some like um, building tutorials, but for now it's going to be more installation installs and uh, yeah, installation tutorials and sort of similar content to that. If there's any certain types of videos you want to see, tell me below as well and I look forward to making them. But yeah, a ton of videos coming very soon and if you you know need help with any type of technology, just leave a comment and I'll try and make a video about it as that's a goal for this channel. I upload every single day with a brand new tutorial. So yeah, I look forward to catching you in the next video. Have a very awesome day. Leave a like if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.